<laughs> yeah, so we got snow in June. It's freak weather we're having what here. What in the world? I don't even know. Came out oh, to feed the cows and it's snowing in June. Do we still have those snowmobiles? Or I know, we should have brought those up with us. Yeah, this is crazy. There's frost. There's frost on the ground. I know, in June. I'm looking June. at the weather. It's 24 degrees right now. And it's going to be Goodness. 84 tomorrow and 95 the next day. 103 wow, like... in August. What's the corn look like? Hopefully still alive. Yeah, did our plants die? I hope not. I hope that's not a thing. They're covered in frost. Crazy. Okay. The corn has frost on it, but it doesn't really look like the sorghum does. The oats don't seem to either. All right, we're going to have to start tossing more bales in the uh, old feed pen here. Okay, here's a crazy thought. What if we use the auto load function on this trailer, load up a whole bunch of bales on it, and then just drive that down into the pen? Well, that would work because I just spawned <laughs> about 20 bales. Okay, where's the We've got the... Ball? It's in the back of the shed. Here, let me well, slow down time because we're burning through food. Uh, we've got the hay wagon right here. It'll pick all these bales right up for us. I got the farm all. You got that one instead? Yeah. I just thought it might be easier to drive around with the farm all. <laughs> he, says, he says as he runs into the shed. <laughs> well, SK was running me off the road, so. You dang kids. You got to turn the uh, auto load on. Yeah, I have it set to operating position. Well, clearly not. <laughs> there it is. It's always weird to me when, like, I guess it's just like for toggling modes. Because to me, if it says transporting position, that means it should be transporting, not yeah, yeah, the yeah. opposite. Now remember, this is the one where you control completely where they go when you go into the unload mode, so you gotta leave yourself some space, probably. Okay, well, I... well, okay, why? And then move it around with the mouse, and bring them forward some more, so there's no trigger way back there. I think you gotta get into the middle over here more. You can move How's them forward look? and backwards with the mouse, too. I can go up and okay. down. That that looks good. We'll clean it up if any fallout. Uh, unload bales, get her. Oh, okay. Ah, wow. All okay, right. Okay, now we have lots so, of food in there now. But that's half of the food, or half of the bales that we've had up here, I think. So we're down to just one half of this with bales now. I know it wasn't full, but like the hope was to have some bales left, I guess, to do silage at some point. But I guess we will get a whole nother cutting, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't think we have the money to buy more cows right now is my point, though. Considering we're $26,000 in debt. All right, so let me come out here and look. What's the plan? We've got oats and sorghum. The sorghum's going into the chicken pen, right? Because we're going to start raising chickens. That'd yep. make for an yeah. episode. All right. We got this. And we're just going to sell our oats, like, right now, correct? Because we're going to be our cash crop. And we don't want to bin them. Yeah, I'm thinking so show price fluctuation although we'd only have yeah. to hold them till december to make some money yeah I, I feel like we should it goes up every month through december it's not like uh soybeans or something where you got to hold them until the next year so i'd say we should put them in the bin yeah i think we need to maximize our profits wherever we can so we'll chop some of our silage or some of our corn and then the rest of the corn We'll go to the uh, um, pack corn factory so we won't bin any corn, correct? Yeah, corn we're going to use up as as it comes in. So Make crack corn beans or silage. Oats. Yep. Will the chicken pen be able to hold all of that sorghum? I think that's what we'll find out. 
I mean, we could just put some more bins over here. Maybe a few more yeah, bins over can't. here. Yeah, we got the money for that. I don't think we got that much in those silos either. No. We should no. have sold the beans this summer when the price was up. Soybeans in June when the price was super high. Mm -hmm. Didn't even remember that we had crops. Dang it. How much corn do we have? We also have a field of soybeans. Oh, running. 300 liters. That's like a one grain wagon. Oh, we got one like one gravity wagon of each. Not it's nothing. OK. We've got so we got more beans coming off. We'll have to pull the corn out to put the oats in. So I say we can take the corn down to the crack corn place when we want to get rid of it and we can keep the well, beans and put more beans in. Yeah. We we kind of want to get rid of the corn now so we can bin our oats. Yeah, but we can start harvesting the sorghum and put the sorghum in the chicken pan. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, summer was uneventful. I'm excited to be getting started on harvest here. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, looking forward to it. We got the uh, combine getting all fueled up here, it looks like. Yep. Just got to uh, just finish it up and uh, should be good to go. Sweet. Well, we've got uh, the oats and the sorghum both seem ready to go. <laughs> There's two SKs. One's running in slow-mo in midair next to the combine, and the other guy's sitting inside. All right. Gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, so, oh, my goodness. When that happens, so, it wigs me right out. Uh, Oh, okay. Train of thought. What was I going to say? Oh, so we've got yeah. the uh, sorghum and the oats are both ready to go. Um, I've been getting this uh, bin cleaned out. We had a little bit of corn left in there. I'm going to run that up and uh, see if we can get the uh, the elevator there to uh, do some cracked corn for us. And we can keep that uh, moonshine in the back going. That's been a nice steady source of income over the summer here. Yeah, yeah I agree. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys want to start maybe on the sorghum. I know we talked about getting these chickens going. I think we can use that as uh, feed over here. Yeah, that's Perfect. a good idea. Uh, Livin, do you want to bring the gravity wagon down or do you want to drive the combine? Doesn't matter to me. I can do the gravity wagon. All right. I'll head down there with the combine. Sounds good. We'll grab this corn and head on our way. I'm going to stop by and uh, watch you guys get uh, started off here before I run up to the elevator. Just remember to stay on the road now, Kedrick. <laughs> <laughs> As he goes off the road. <laughs> well, I think I've got the combine all set right, but if you guys maybe want to follow behind me here this first little bit. Yep, no problem. Make sure that I'm not losing anything out the back. Yeah, it's looking good. Yep. I'm glad we uh, got all that spraying done and stuff. Our fields look nice and clean. Green fields are always good. Like it. All right. Well, I'm gonna run this up to the uh, elevator here real quick, and I'll uh, I'll be back in a a couple uh, minutes here, and I'll have to uh, get the auger all set up with that farm all I think to uh, put the oats in once you guys are done with the sorghum. Yep, sounds cool. good. How fast are you going, SK? Six miles an hour. You know, I saw these crazy kids on YouTube uh, unload on the go with some gravity wagons. We could maybe <laughs> try that living. Yeah, we totally could. Uh <laughs> I find this tractor is a little bit uh, hard to control sometimes. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, can you get a little closer? I'm trying. I realize <laughs> there's not a green card on there, but come on. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, too fast, too fast. I'm slow. <laughs> hey, turn, turn. Sure, Dad. Kyle, you know what they say, it's always the green card driver's fault. I'm really starting to understand that now. Listen, do you want to end whoa, up in a whoa, ditch? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Boy. okay. <laughs> now we're on the street. Come on. All right. All right. 
But as slow as this thing unloads. <laughs> Just I'm out. setting it to, to six miles per hour, but it's going too fast. All right, hopper's empty. Yep, sounds good. All right, up here at the elevator, we're gonna dump this corn in and uh, go in and talk to a guy about getting it cracked. I think everybody in town knows what we're using it for, but nobody asked any questions, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How full are you getting over there? 63%. No, I was talking about living. <laughs> Oh, I'm at 48%. Oh, okay. So I am I am needed. Eventually. What is up with this? Okay, do you see when the field <laughs> turns to the right? I yeah. want you to turn to the right, too, not to the left. But listen, this tractor is... What is it doing? You know what wouldn't do this is an 8RX. That's what wouldn't do this. <laughs> Oh man. You know, that 8RX would be throwing codes though and would not even start probably. I'm gonna throw codes. <laughs> Alright, oh, the front's. <laughs> leg, leg, leg. Yeah. The front's oh, pretty full. Saving. Do you, uh, do you, could you drive a little bit further ahead so we could fill the back? I'm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling to keep. Oh, you guys are moving here. it like one frame a second. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, this combine operator is going to make me uh, dive into that moonshine. <laughs> oh, man, you're getting nice and full there. Yep. I'm only at 88% yet, though. <laughs> what the, the pile's like heaping up over the cart. I'm only at 88%. <laughs> 94 all right, well, I suppose I should run back up into the yard and uh, get that auger set up like I said I was going to. Not that we're putting this in the bin, but... I think we need a new combine operator. Our combine operator is just going in circles. Hey, you know what? If you think you can do better, I'd be happy to let you take over. I'm sure I could grade <laughs> cart better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm sure you can. <laughs> Uh, oh I've, man I've actually tried the grain cart once or twice and it is incredibly stressful people say it's the easiest job no driving the combine is by far easier than trying to grain cart alright I think I've got this auger all set up although I'm going to disconnect it because I can't turn the tractor off while <laughs> the PTO is hooked up to it alright I'm full peace out all right, I'm kind of curious to see uh, if this is going to go into the chicken pen or not here. How full are you, SK? You got a second? Uh, 66%. All right, here, let me come uh, get this guy ready to unload you. Maybe and then I'll go. Well, Maybe we even park Kendrick at the end of the field, and, and I can just park. I can just... Yeah, I'll, I'll run it up here to the end for you. You know your game. You know your green cart drivers are bad when you just say, "Yeah, just leave it at the end of the field." Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> a little further, a little further. Let's get all the way to the end. All right, that'll do. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's see this living. I think you need and to spin uh... around the other driveway. Don't come in this one. Go on the other side of the bins. Uh, okay. Because your uh, gravity wagon door needs to end up uh, facing the chicken pen here. Yep. This tractor's having a hard time pulling this cart full. <laughs> Gotta use the you right gears. What? You know what? Yeah, I, see, that's the other thing. I don't do manual. Thing probably needs a new transmission, to be honest. What's oh, going in? It's full. And it's done. 
<laughs> All 750 liters. <laughs> uh, and I still got 92% left in my tank. Or in my cart. All right. Well, uh... <laughs> Let's look at the sorghum prices and figure out what we're gonna do. If we are gonna get chickens, though, maybe we, we should do need some kind of a storage for a sorghum. Bit anyway. Yeah. So, what Dad and I do, like to feed oh, our corn so to our calves and stuff, we've bought several small gravity wagons, and we just like use that for all of our corn storage for what we're feeding. And so, I mean. Theoretically, we could just buy one more gravity wagon and just fill it with sorghum to use throughout the year. Not unrealistic by any means. How many chickens did you buy? That was 60 plus a rooster. I'm going to go for 100 because this holds 360. It's going to be a busy rooster. How much is in there, Levin? 744 liters. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna only need like a gravity wagon or so if it's using, well, it's using six an hour. Six times 24 times four is 576 a month times 12, 7,000 liters in a month. Or in a year, I, think, I mean, sorry. I did something wrong. I think the rooster is just kind of cowering over there in the corner. <laughs> it's like, no, please no. <laughs> How full are you, SK? 52%, so we're all, I'll make it around. Oh, I was gonna... So, oh, I was gonna come and unload you on the way down. Um, how many liters does a gravity wagon hold? Oh. Um... Because it's in bushels now. 10,000. 10, so, so yeah, one gravity, a gravity wagon, wagon will be a year's worth of... Uh, so should we just buy another gravity wagon? How much is a gravity but then, wagon? But what are we going to do? Are we just going to take it to sell? The rest yeah, of it, I, you mean? Because we have enough sorghum right now to feed our chickens for a year. Right. Well, we could buy more so, chickens. Right. They were but pretty cheap. We still got, like, probably another gravity wagon and a bit in the field. Sure. Well, why don't you buy a whole, 100 more chickens? Although they're going to reproduce, okay. aren't they? They will. Say. Yep. Chickens do reproduce. They do, yep. Well, then we can just sell the extras or something. Okay, my gears aren't working. Hang on. Uh, stop. So do you still want me to do another 100 oh, chickens? Yeah. Okay. Go bigger, go home. And are we getting the $50 ones or the $5 ones? I got the $50 ones so that they'd start making money right away. We'll have more eggs than we know what to do with soon. Sorry, you said 50 yeah. Okay. Or no, another hundred chickens. Hundred chickens, yeah. Sorry. At Man. the fifty dollar price. For brain is. Uh... Oh, it's only gonna let me buy sixty at a time. Yeah, I buy fifty and then buy fifty is probably easier. Oh, I'm full. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Bye. Yoki. So what we really need is another bin. <laughs> uh, yeah, we. Even if we had like a smaller, couple smaller ones, like kind of back back here somewhere. I don't suppose that, there's any like small like poly like white poly tanks of any sort. There's just like big bins. Well, there's well we there's I mean I, there's mods that have some really small nice little bins. I just don't know if we have any of those. Yeah, the only grain bin mod I have on here is these the same ones we've got on the farm already. And for some reason, the only tanks here take fertilizer. I mean, we can put this in the bin for now. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Whatever you think. Yeah, I mean, Hot so <laughs> we didn't think this through very well, but we're going to need somewhere to store all this sorghum. I'm going to go ahead and start putting it in this bin that we cleared out for corn. And then uh, we'll see if we can uh, get a feed uh, bin out here, like a little silo that we can put over here next to the uh, chicken pen here before we get into corn harvest. So, well, let's um, see here. mean oat harvest? Oat harvest? <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta, we, we gotta bend the oats. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. We got, we got bean, oh, we got soybeans in this other bin still. And we yeah. are gonna be bringing some more beans in, so, yeah, we'll have to, well, we'll have to think about this then. 
we might uh, we might have to call somebody up and see if we can get a uh, get a bin what here next week. What would work really well for us right now would be some grain bags. What would also work well is if this auger was dumping into the bin. <laughs> 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 Man, you just want it all, don't you? I would like to see if I could... Can I get into this auger? No. This is one of those realistic ones. Okay, well, can you... Um, let me know if you see it start going into the <laughs> bin here. You gotta come back a little bit more. Is it back? No, I feel like back is not the right way. No, nope, oh, yeah, we're back way this... far. So go back forwards towards the bin. Okay, well, yeah, sure. I was that was yeah. Uh, it's not reaching. It needs to come a little bit more. There's got to be a way to set this auger down some more. Oops. Oh, it's banging into the bin. Yeah, I know, but oh, it's because the ladder's there. Which way... I'm not lined up anymore, though, is more of the problem. No. Yeah, you need to come over to... It's probably not helping that I'm connected to a tractor. Yeah, so... Like, I know this auger works because I put stuff into here before. Yep. Oh, there you go. It's just kind of resting, no. resting on the silo right now. You did, you did have it going, but oh, there it goes again. But it's not aligned. It's like it looks at a line, but well, I can't have it that high. Yeah, it's it's still rubbing against the bin. Like right there would be perfect, but it's it's laying on the bin. All right. Well, let's uh. See if I can finish getting this emptied. And then we'll, uh... <laughs> we'll try and hook something up to the back of the auger here and adjust it. How is this not close enough to dump? That little... I hate... Uh, am I, I hate when the uh, modders don't actually do things right with their implements, like... In real life, this gravity wagon, that chute opens up on the side so I could unload, like, well away from the side of the gravity wagon, right? It's not like I have to put yep. the wagon into the auger hopper to get it to unload. You're supposed to be now, able to drive up next to it. Is that a, is that the thing with the hot auger itself, the, the trigger for it on the auger, or is it the gravity wagon? Well, I feel like right now it's got to be the gravity wagon unload, but I'll let you know once the game's done saving and my tractor drives forward again. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Is this thing... Why is this thing not running? No, I see, I see the PTO turning. Like, I see the auger I moving. see the PTO turning, but it's not going into the bin. Is the pipe well, open? The bin has seven over 7,000 liters of... Uh, oh, my gosh. It won't going. load when the PTO is hooked up to the tractor. The auger itself is bugged. As soon as I disconnect uh, the uh, PTO, <clears throat> the... Uh, auger starts running <laughs> that's hilarious that's really bizarre all right well at least it's not us it's the gremlins in the system so can we move the farm wall <laughs> we could but let's just leave it there for the sake of uh what it okay. looks like <laughs> okay all right i can't see what's in the bin now though like i don't get a readout when i walk up to the side of the bin oh, oh. there i do okay Chickens okay. Are going through the the feed. All right, you gonna trust me to run this thing? Uh, in just a second, I will. All right. All right. Let's see how it goes. Wow, SK, you're you're missing the, uh, the combine there. 
<laughs> I feel like we're on the verge of a fight. <laughs> oh man, and Cab is so painful in here. The frustrations mounting around the unloading and... We're just going when down. cousins collide. Okay, cruise control is being a little flaky today. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're uh, we're rolling. This field, field isn't uh, yielding the best, but we're getting some getting some sorghum off of it. You're all filled up. Yep. All right. You trust thought... me to uh, drive up in the auger? <laughs> <laughs> not not particularly, but <laughs> I nailed it the first time. Uh huh. You and nailed it, it was... all right. <laughs> But no, but no, the very first time, but then it wasn't lined up, and then the uh -huh. second time, I uh, I beginner's luck. Uh, I, you know, I'm about to show you. Okay, you show me. I, I'm gonna look the other way for a moment so I don't see the auger flying into outer space. All right, Livin, you come up here and you be my witness. Okay. I don't know what I'm in for here, but. <laughs> so what am I watching for? Me not using super strength and not blasting the auger. SK claims he can unload a gravity wagon all by himself. I well, mean, where, where you are right there, you should be able to unload. I, yeah, I really feel like this is about where I was before. That, like, to me, that's ridiculous. Like, you should be able to unload right there. There's no reason that that should not work. So the question is, is it the gravity wagon or the auger? I would think it's probably a little bit of both. <laughs> probably. And, we sh and we're sure, like, does the PTO have to be attached for me to dump no, into the No, you can auger? dump into it without uh, anything. I'm afraid to connect it because I don't want to, like, mess it up. I don't want to make Dad mad any more than he already is. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take one more like, stab at this. Yeah, like your wheels are going through like the wheels, thing. Like wheels are literally driving through it. Yeah. Yeah, like there's no reason that should not unload. All right, I'm done out here. We're gonna run back up to the yard and see what kind of trouble these cousins are getting into. <laughs> this is one of those episodes. I think we just own it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I like editing. This is gonna be rough. I think we're just gonna have to. Yeah, we're just gonna have to own it. Crack, you know, leave the frustration and the jokes in, and be done with it. Yep. Living, get in the tractor, and start driving forward. That way, it's your fault when you run over it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stop. 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 I am stopped. No. Still not getting anything. I think the tractor needs to be connected. No. I, I'm legit not getting anything. How about now? There. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Son of a gun. So we can unload okay, so into the auger it it, with the auger connected, but we can't unload the auger <laughs> with the yeah, and the, uh, PTO and the auger's out of out of line with the silo again now. No, no, it's not. It's in line. I guarantee. When I disconnect this PTO, it's going to start unloading into the uh, silo. It's not in line. I'm sitting right over it. It's it's in line enough. Uh, okay. See? I disconnected, and it's unloading. I reconnect, and it stops unloading, but you can dump. Oh, can we get a new auger? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need a new auger, folks. This one is uh, it's busted. Auger is not it. So welcome to Kedrick Farms, where nothing ever goes according to plan. And it is definitely not line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, every time okay. I disconnect, it's shifting like six inches off. Oops. I I just posted in. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Now you got it. There you go. All right, but you're not empty yet. You can only be as realistic as the mods allow you to be. <laughs> and this mod is uh, a little bit broken for us, so. Okay, we'll get so a new one. I, That's all right. If we the were missed, I had a, 
lined up, it probably would have gone if the tractor had been connected then. It, you yep, keep telling it yourself that. <laughs> it would have. It definitely would have. Because it... Because, like, he was... His tires were going through the... The end of the, um... The end of the auger. Yeah, okay. So, like, he was, de he was definitely close enough. How are you not empty yet? Uh... I don't know. It's not... It's stuck at 7%. Do you oh. want to, like, turn, turn on again? Yeah. Yeah, let me let me clean out the auger a little bit for us, folks. Oh boy! Hang on. <laughs> okay. This is Kedrick Farms. Diddly diddly diddly. diddly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting like some kind of weird connection thing that pops up. It's like start over. Oh, push I to start overloading sorghum. Weird. Oh, it's slowly. It's slowly sliding. Everything is sliding. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Boo. <laughs> not oh in my overly... gosh, I broke it. I'm not in an overly forgiving mood today. <laughs> no, I'm I'm about ready to be done with this episode tonight, and if we don't get enough to <laughs> during editing, we'll yeah. splice it with the next session. Alright, that's it. Kick out. <laughs> it's trying. Like I can oh, push shit. I I'm to out. Overload. Kerrick, SK, and Livin. Oh. Come on. Hang on. I'm going to jump into this thing now. Tune in next time. For more shenanigans. Okay, that looks like that okay. should be good. Hooking up. Is it empty? It's. I think it's empty. You want to try and uh, unload now? So are we just going to put, like, the AGI pack on here then? I've got a Westfield that's always worked good for me that's a little bit shorter. That's, a, like, an older-style Westfield that's always worked okay. solid for me, so. Yeah, I think I, know which one, I think I know which one you're talking about. So I'm empty. All right, you're there empty. There is a Westfield on here, but I think it's longer than what we have. It is. Ah, ah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ah, just drive out of the way and I'll use I'll do this one manually. Might as well break the gravity wagon while I'm at it. I think I clipped out my mic too then. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those days, man. Alright, yeah. Alright, I think it's empty. Yep. All that work for <laughs> 722 bushels of freeing sorghum. You need to put the hickiest country music you can find under this episode. Just lightly playing in the background. The whole episode while we just sit the here whole and rant. Episode while we sit here and I'm serious. You just need to do it. Just own it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. I think that's going to wrap things up for this <laughs> session, folks. We've managed to get a <laughs> few hundred bushels of sorghum, <laughs> a couple hundred chickens. We've got eggs. We got some eggs already here. Well, hey, look, it was all worth it, folks. We've got eggs. This, this is ex excellent. Excellent. This was I, an excellent episode. I Carton contain my I don't know whatever. Um, yeah. All right. Well, on that note, <laughs> I think we're done. Bye. <laughs> Stay tuned we next. <laughs> we Stay <out>. tuned <laughs> next week for a whole bunch of new mods. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the cousins hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Easy depth tools exist for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>